every are live from our home. <laughs> oh, my phone's buzzing. Oh, sorry. All right, sit down, please. So we've got Pillow here. We're doing a little update yeah. since we've been back from Vegas with Pillow the parakeet. Oops, there, there, he is. there he is. And he has just been hanging out here. He was hanging out here while we were gone. Somebody uh, come in and check in on him. But there he is, chilling on Kevin's back. <laughs> and for the first uh, know, about 12 hours or so after we got back, he didn't really want to come out of his cage. We leave his cage door open here. David ends. Hey, what's up? So we here. Here's his cage, and we leave the door. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera like backwards here. So we just leave the cage door open like that all the time, and so he has free reign. He can really just come and go however he wants, however much he wants. And oh, he just got up. Well, good morning, David. <clears throat> good morning. That's awesome. I wish. We want to sleep in, but Brendan's got his uh, swim lessons now on Saturday morning, so that's not an option. Here's Brendan. Say hi to David. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> so we're just hanging out here with Pillow. What else is going on? And David. And David. <laughs> Ooh, where's David? He's talking to us on the phone. On the in the uh, yeah. Say hi, David. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so, but, um, yeah, about the first the first 12 hours or so, he didn't really want to come out of the cage. He seemed like a little grumpy with us, but then, then he totally just relaxed. And I think that's a thing with animals when you, uh, sometimes when you go away, they feel Maybe. abandoned. <laughs> I know we had, growing up, whenever we had, like, dogs and cats and stuff, they would just do the same thing. You'd come back and they would just... Uh, not not really be that interested in you for a little while but do you want to yeah i'm gonna all right you, you want to try to take pillow i just want to look at him and see if he won't uh fly away as we get a bit ah. I think he's a little afraid of the phone <laughs> like, i know i'm thing? like shoving this thing in his face every time i try to turn towards it he like turns away but you know what he's not afraid of is the. Here, wait, I'm gonna tilt this down because I'm trying, holding it at such a weird angle. Okay, that's a little better. Um, he's not afraid of the vacuum, which I was really surprised about. I was vacuuming before, and he was over on the bottom of one of those chairs over there, and I had the hose. It wasn't the full, um, you know, vacuum head like the big thing, but it was the hose. And I got this vacuum right underneath him, right where he was sitting. And he just sat there and eventually he flew away, but he really was not freaked out at all. I thought the second I walked over with the vacuum, he would just be like, Rah! but um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would say they're, they're uh, very forgiving. He's definitely back to his old self now. And Brendan's giving him some millet. You want some millet? Oh, that's going to make a huge mess on daddy's back, isn't yeah, I'll it? I'll stand up and go to the floor. <laughs> and and I'll have to get out the vacuum solved. again. Yeah. All is solved. Yeah. We vacuum a lot more now that we have a bird. Yeah. Let's keep holding on this shit. That's okay. Let's see. Let's keep holding Let's on. It's bending. It's breaking it. Oh, yeah. It's already broken. I'm oh. trying to bend it. Oh. But uh I'm trying to break the millet. <laughs> you have to tear it apart. The seeds all over your shit. I was gonna say, what are you doing today, David? But David just woke up, so he, might, so <laughs> he doesn't know what he's doing. David's yet. still relaxing. Yeah, we used to uh Oh yeah, the sugar gliders. What are the I forget, those are like squirrel flying type things. Oh yeah, the flying squirrels. Oh gosh. I don't know. I've no, never in known California, any. California, there's like ferrets are illegal, and I think sugar gliders might be illegal in California. I know hedgehogs were illegal. My dad used to sell hedgehogs back when he had a pet business, and he sold hedgehogs, and then I guess they became illegal at some point, and he had to stop mm. selling them. But yeah, um, but yeah California's yeah. more restrictive, I think, than some other states. Oh yeah. yeah. Huh. I wonder why. But um, that's why you yeah. don't see them in like pet stores. What the sugar gliders? Yeah. Ferrets. I've never known dogs. anyone to own sugar gliders besides David. Uh, <laughs> but um, they'd yeah, be cool though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be interesting. Have them, like fly around. Was he eating? Did he eat? A little bit. He just pecked. 
Oh, we just pecked at it? Maybe okay. I can feed him over here on my shoulder as opposed to on my back. Uh -huh. So I can stand up straight. <laughs> I know, I'm afraid <laughs> to get too close. I'm always like tilting the camera the wrong way too. There we go. He's a, he keeps hiding from the camera. Like, yeah. What is that thing? Because <laughs> he's never been on it. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh, ah. there. Yeah. Well, he definitely, definitely what? loves, uh, where'd he go? Oh, we, all right. So now he's over on his favorite perch way over there. So on the chair, on the chair. Oh, my favorite chair. <clears throat> oh yeah. Your, your favorite. Chair. Yeah. Brendan's chair. Yeah. We have these two random bar chairs. You can see there's the black ones and the, uh, kind of pinkish colored ones and the pinkish colored ones. Well, the one you sit in, it's actually one of the bar chairs, but, uh, it's a little bit taller. So it works for you and the, oh. and the table. You're looking at your bug book? Mm -hmm. Daddy. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's hysterical. That's awesome. Scorpion. Now, do they fly away? Like, can they escape and fly away? Or do they have to, like, because I know flying squirrels don't actually fly the way birds they glide, oh, yeah. but I do they have to, like, jump off of something? Or if they, like, jump out of your bra? And fly away? You can live on our ceiling fan. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I can eat just my, sit up there. My bra. Yeah. What? Eat my bra. You're oh, gross. Uh, uh, so my bra. Stop it. All right. But, uh, yeah, so he's over there now. He's just kind of chirping and singing and Oh, they sleep during the day. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize that. They sleep during the day? Huh? Sugar gliders. Sure, sugar, sugar gliders sleep during the day. I did not know that. I've learned something new today. How was your swim lesson today, Bub? Did you have fun? Yeah. Are you becoming a good swimmer? Don't be gross. Are you becoming a good swimmer? <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. I think Kevin's getting pillow again. Let's see. <laughs> Brennan's being ridiculous right now. All right. He's... Let's see. He normally gobbles this stuff right up. I think he's just a little weirded out with all the, the camera and everything. Yeah. Because usually we feed him over on his uh, table over there. Yeah, or like or right on your on your arm. On your right? hand or arm. Your yeah. hand, yeah. Without a camera in his face. Without a, yeah. He's like, what is this black thing? And without Brendan lurking around behind yeah, him. Yeah, Brendan's usually not quite as uh, involved here. <laughs> yeah, oh, we were, the cockatiel, yeah. We were considering a cockatiel. I kind of wanted a cockatiel, but I know that they're bigger. And for Brendan, I mean, I think any bird that's bigger than a parakeet, not that they are aggressive, but they if they do bite, it's harder. And yeah, because they don't have the, the soft Right. Beak. Well, we, initially when we first mentioned a cockatiel, and I was thinking a cockatoo, like one of the, the big, you know, the giant ones. I was like, well, there's no way we're getting that. But then, um, I'm sorry, the camera's so shaky. I have to adjust myself here. But, um, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm smelling the millet. Oh, what does gosh. It smell like? Carrot. Carrots. <laughs> it kind of does smell like carrot. Oh, she plays with clothing and hair. Yeah. I think they, uh, like he, he likes hair too. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to put some, I'm going to put my hair down see if he'll play in it here. Let's see. Here's, <laughs> here's mommy's hair. You want to look at mommy's hair? If he's sitting on my shoulder, he'll, uh, Sorry, the camera's so shaky. You want to play in mommy's hair? I'm dropping pillows. Okay. Don't drop them there. <laughs> he's like overstim. He's got like so much going on right now. Oh, well, he's not really interested in my hair right now. But, um... <laughs> Everyone's quiet. Yeah, it's like you, you feel like you have to be quieter around the bird. <laughs> but I think they also like noise. If it's too quiet, they get weirded out. That's true. Well, you said last night you left the uh, TV on for him. What well, was this morning? Or this morning, sorry. Yeah. Swim, and I went upstairs and set the TV on for him. Oh, yeah. So he could have some uh, company. <laughs> I went upstairs to turn the TV off, and then he just got quiet all of a sudden. And then like, I put oh. the TV back on, and he started warbling and chirping again. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's definitely happier with the with the TV on. Yeah, one point recently, I was watching something on TV that had um, birds chirping. Hold on one second, sweet. Um, there was just like birds started chirping on TV, and he just started beep, 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 beep. He was very happy to join in, right? What were you saying, sweetie pie? I, I like a game popped up, like, boom. Yeah. Want to of... shoot his feathers out. Yeah. I like his little ducky thing on the side. Yeah, he kind of goes, oh, sorry. Oh, I scared him. <laughs> Oh yeah, a, a, a second one. Yeah, we were we we're actually considering that. Um, we haven't come to a final decision yet, but yeah, we we're considering it because uh, I know they do really enjoy each other's company. Ah! Oh my gosh, <laughs> being ridiculous. So, honey, come on, you're getting in my face. Oh my goodness. So what else is going on? Where are we going tomorrow? Bug fair. The bug fair. We're going to the bug fair tomorrow. Brendan is so excited about it. He's thrilled. He's been talking about it for like weeks. Even before we went to Vegas, he was already talking about the bug fair. We still have a couple more Vegas videos to go off too. I know. We're gonna get one up this weekend. Oh goodness. So yeah, well, it's funny because um, we finally, you know, finally got Brendan. Shh, okay, stop. We finally got Brendan into the school for next year, and um, I, I think he's very. Um, I don't know, Brendan. Are you excited to go to your new school next year? Or are you kind of? Take it out. How do you feel about going to your school next year, Bub? Your new school. Take it out. What? Take it out. <laughs> But anyway, so he, um, I don't think he fully grasps the whole idea yet that he's um, going to be going, you know, he's not no longer going to be going to the school he's going to now and he's going to be going to the new one. But uh, yeah, I think once he, he, he gets it, you know, he just does things so quickly that as soon as he gets in there, he'll, he'll be fine. I'm just so glad that whole school process is over with, right? Yeah. yeah. And he got into a good school and he's going to be happy and hopefully they were really nice there. Yeah, no, it's a good school. It was the, well, it was the highest ranked of all the schools. We were, I think we were looking at like 10 or 11 different schools and it was the highest ranked of all of them. So, um, yeah. Yeah, kids we're, do that. We're doing fine, so. How's Pillow doing up there? He seems to be okay. He's nice and calm. Yeah. Well, until you get the camera too closer. <laughs> I know, I'm trying not to like him. scare like him, scare him too much. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the first time we've live streamed with <laughs> the bird, so. Right. We're not sure how. Normally we can shoot him from farther away and just, you know, obviously edit it and all that. But first time we're trying to just get him right in the moment. <laughs> yes, sweetie pie. I got cut. <laughs> oh, you all right? I got a cut right here. Oh, on the bike? No, on this. Yeah, on your book? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Sorry. It's okay. Oh, all right, I'll go get a band-aid. All right, Kevin's right, gonna get a band-aid for this microscopic cut. I think band-aids are sort of a. What do you think? Band-aids are sort of a therapeutic. It's like when you have one, you think your cut's getting better. You gonna come? Oh, here you go. I'm trying to get him on your head. Oh yeah. Where is he? He freaked out with the camera. Yeah. Seeing himself as this black thing. Yeah. Come here, So. But anyway, yeah, Pillow will go over and he'll he'll sit over. You can see him over there on the perch on the bar bar the pink bar chair there. He's back on back over there. But uh, yeah, sometimes he'll just sit over there for literally like a couple of hours. You know, he'll just because he has free reign. I mean, he can go anywhere he wants, but he'll just sit over in that one that one chair. Yeah. Platers. Pla platters or platers? Oh, plasters. Oh, the band-aids. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right, right, right. The plasters. Um, yeah, because you have one, you know, we have the ones with the little cartoon characters, and I think we have minions or something right now. I'll see what he comes out with when they're on. But uh but yeah, so Pillow will just sit back there for a long time and chill out and just he likes his quiet time and then he'll come back over in his cage and he'll he plays with his toys and he eats and i need to get him some broccoli he has all this he has a bunch of seed in there from leftover from we gave him just a ton of seed when we went to vegas and there's still some in there but uh i need to get him his fruit 
Oh, because of your injury? What kind of band-aid did you get? Did you get one with creatures on it or oh just, just a regular no one. just a regular one oh, that's pretty good so does it hurt anymore no i have to walk like this now yeah <laughs> yeah so hmm. oh does pillow every bug we haven't tried bugs with him yet we were actually just this morning you were ready to, yeah. that he could eat um what bread and cheese and eggs and some other things so yeah. we haven't tried any of that apples and kiwis and right but well we, we tried a bunch of different fruits and vegetables but the only one he's really taken to is is the broccoli but um yeah the uh other stuff like bread and cheese and all that i didn't know about so maybe that's something we could we could try yeah and what was the other thing we heard the other day it was um tomatoes but the tomato oh, leaves and the tomato stems apparently are poisonous like chocolate as well as chocolate and avocado. Yeah, chocolate. Anything is too acidic, like onions and stuff. They said not to. Oh, they forage in the wilderness. Oh yeah, so they probably find a lot of bugs out there when they're foraging. What? Parakeets don't eat bugs. Well, D David says they they can eat bugs. I think probably in in when people have them as pets, they don't eat bugs as much because people don't really have bugs to feed them. But I think in the wilderness, they when they when they live in the wild, they can go out and eat bugs. Oh, that'd be kind of cool, huh? So. Ooh. Ow! Really? <laughs> oh my gosh, that hurts so bad. You're like jamming your head into my femur. <laughs> oh, five, five? Ten percent is the foraging. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't. Not bugs? Like five to ten percent of the diet is bugs? Yeah, I didn't see that. Hold on. Sorry, I'm fixing the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah, Brenda yeah. Is so yeah. super silly today. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. He's so yeah, silly. Yeah. But, um, cat, 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 cat. Don't do that, please. So, <laughs> how's he doing over there? What's he doing? Just hanging out still? He's on the windowsill. Oh, did he go up there himself or did you put him up there? Yeah, I put him up here. Oh, okay. But he was like looking up here and he's just hanging out there. Yeah, because he likes being, uh, here, let's we can walk over here. Yeah, he likes being on the back of this chair too, because he can. It's soft and oh, there. Ah, no. it's no. almost on your head. Want to eat you? Want to? Yeah, we lost a little feather. Here you go, pillow. Look, a little watermelon. Sorry, I can't tell if you can see him or not. Let's see. No, the watermelon seed. The watermelon seed. There. How'd that get there? I can <laughs> vacuum. But. Yeah, I think the camera's just a little a little too close there. You know, I'll keep my keep my distance here. So anyway. So yeah, that's basically the the pillow update from Vegas. Pillow. So um yeah, he's he's very much likes his toys that are in here. We've got a little, um, the disco ball, which is sort of reflective, and then the little helicoptery thing. He he likes those a lot. And he likes that. And here's his uh, two things of seeds here. You can see that. Usually one of these is filled with broccoli. I just haven't two had any yet. Water. Yeah, the two things of water because he has two things of water. There's extra water. From Vegas, so yeah, that's the pillow update. Pillow. Yeah. Pillow. 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 Is there anything else you wanted to? No, I was going to remind people about the other channel, and we can also say yes. if anybody has any parakeet tips you want to see for us on what's a good food for them. Yeah, the food. Yeah, because we've just. Like I was saying, we just heard about the uh, cheese and bread and, sorry, cheese and bread and different things that we didn't realize were. Yeah, eggs were and lettuce were... and things like oh, that. Yeah, eggs. That was weird. Yeah. That was weird. Eggs. But, um, yeah, if anyone has any uh, parakeet tips, baby, oh, my God. <laughs> we probably need to avoid that. What? If we get a female, we could have oh, babies. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I think the last thing we need right now is... Uh, 
small parakeets. A bunch of little there. parakeets, yeah. It'd be cute, but it would be cute. How would they make a little nest? I wonder how they would do that. Like uh, yeah, we'd have know. to like give them material for a nest, probably. Yeah, you would think. They'd be like wholly dependent on us for their nest. Huh. Or maybe you just like leave like dried grass or hay in the it. bottom and they'd pick it up and make it. their own nest. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I think they sell little nests too. Like oh, them. you could buy one. Oh. Actually, someone recommended we get a, like a rope, hanging rope thing. Yeah, the rope, the rope perch. Do. Yeah, because be you could sort of swing on it too, as well as yeah. just uh, yeah. We might like that. Uh, yeah. Or she. We still don't know if it's a he or a she. Well, the thing is, yeah, because it says you know it's like the color. I think it, it said if it was blue, if it's blue, it's a male. If it's pink, it's a female. Right, the little thing above their beak. Above their beak. Um. Okay. I can't really see him right now. When we first got him, he was very much completely in the middle. Like, we absolutely could not tell. I think, yeah, it was like blue on part and the top and then pink on the bottom. Yeah, it was sort of both. And there was sort of a purpley look in there. And then in our videos, um, we do color time the videos. So we've had a couple people give their suggestions of what they think he is. But they are looking at a color time video. So it's not exactly necessarily the exact color that he really is. So, yeah, it's still kind of a mystery. But... Maybe once he gets a little bit older, the color will sort of even out a little bit. We'll be able to tell a little bit better. But but um, but yeah, we will have more for anybody who's watching this later. We have more parakeet stuff on our other channel. There's a we can link right once this goes up. We link or sure yeah a link to um, Kevin and Krista. That's our new channel, sort of a spinoff of this channel, which is now Kevin and Krista Extras, and. Oh, they tell by the shape of the opening. You have to go, yeah, we'd have to see what that is. But that might be another way, yeah, that we would be able to tell. But, um, ah! <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you can check out our other channel, Kevin and Krista, and there will be more parakeet stuff on there. And the rest of our Vegas videos, which are going to go up in the next day or two. Next few days. Uh, yeah. yeah and so. Bug fair, and then you're going back to Virginia. Bug fair, and then yeah, Brendan and I are going back to Virginia on um, Tuesday, so we'll be, um, we're we're going to be shooting stuff there, but those videos probably aren't going to go up until we get back because I'm not taking all of the editing equipment and everything with me because I can't deal with <laughs> I can't deal with a kid and all that stuff at the same time. But we're going to shoot a bunch of stuff, and those will all go up once we get back. And, and we'll also be live streaming uh, from Virginia at some point. We'll live stream there. And uh, there should be some fun stuff for Brendan there. We've got a big yard, and my parents have a big yard and a garden and, you know, all kinds of fun stuff. So, so yeah, I think that's it, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hey, let's live stream. Yeah, no, <laughs> I just have to be to live stream for a little bit. And then I'm just realizing I'm getting, like, super hungry because it's almost lunchtime. I'm, so. I'm really you're really hungry? All right. Well, we'll we'll sign off here in just a second and get some lunch about, okay? Well, glad David was here. Yes. Thank you for joining us, Hold David. On. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's there. David was there for, I think, the ride home. Yeah. Huh? With David was in our live stream. He's one of them on the way back. Right, right. But yeah, and so. In Vegas, too. Yeah. Yeah, in the Vegas ones. So, <laughs> what are you doing, goofball? All right, so do we sign off? Okay, Say goodbye. Can you see pillow? Oh, yeah. All right, say bye, pillow. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, so thanks for watching. We are signing off, and we will see you very soon. We should probably do. More you have a nice day too. Live, we should probably do more live streams and maybe notify people on Twitter or something or schedule yeah, in advance so people know. Yeah, this one was kind of, um, you know, we, we knew we were going to do it, but we weren't sure what time and all yeah. that. It wasn't really scheduled. It just sort of happened. So, so anyway. Glad you were here, David. Yes. See all right. We'll see you later. Have a good day, David. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Hope you watch this later. Bye. <laughs> all right. Good day. <laughs> Wait, how do I turn this off? It's not turning off. It's the X. Oh, the X. <laughs> I'm, I'm really confident here.